Today, we're tackling opioids, focusing on tolerance, relapse, and overdose risk. You might be wondering, why is this radiologist talking about opioid tolerance? Well, if you remember, I have a very strong background in neuroscience. That coupled with medical knowledge offers a valuable insight. This is MedScience Simplified. I'm Dr. Zeki. First, let me explain what drug tolerance is. Imagine someone battling pain and then turn into opioids for relief. Initially, a small dose works wonders, right? But over time, that dose loses effectiveness. This is essentially drug tolerance in a nutshell. The need for a higher dose to achieve the same amount of pain relief. Opioids attach to specific receptors in our brain and spine, offering pain relief, decreased anxiety, and euphoria, or feel good. And of course, the less pleasant ones like drowsiness, nausea, constipation, and slowed breathing, among others. However, when used for a long time, the body can adjust, developing tolerance to this opioid medications. We don't have all the details of tolerance down yet, but we have some solid theories on how it happens. And I'll be focusing on two of those mechanisms in the brain and spinal cord. They're called desensitization and receptor downregulation. But hey, there's no need to freak out. Let's break down and simplify these fancy terms. Receptor desensitization, we'll call it receptor numbing. When opioids bind to receptors in our brain, these receptors fire off signals, right? That result in the opioid effect that you feel, including pain relief. However, with continued use of the same opioids, these receptors may start firing less intensely, which means that the opioid will have less effect. You know how sometimes you walk into a stinky room, right? At first, it hits you hard, but if you stay in that room for a while, it still smells bad, but you kind of get used to it, right? This is your sense of smell or your smell receptors being desensitized to the bad smell after a long time of exposure. It's the same thing happening with opioid receptors in your brain after a long time of using them. So, to feel the same effects, some people might increase the dosage of the opioid. Another way our body builds tolerance to opioid is through receptor downregulation. We'll call this receptor destruction. With prolonged opioid use, the brain can become overwhelmed. In response to this overwhelmed brain, your body begins to eliminate or destroy some of these opioid receptors as a defense mechanism. With fewer opioid receptors available, the response to the medication weakens and decreases the opioid effects that you feel. This means that the same dose that once gave you pain relief may no longer be as effective, potentially requiring a higher dose to get the same amount of pain relief. Simple, right? When someone who has used opioids for a while stops using it, whether due to switching to other kinds of medications or treatment, the brain begins to recalibrate. It's like pushing the reset button. This process restores those receptors that were once desensitized or numb bringing them closer to the original sensitivity. It also replaces those receptors that were once destroyed, making them available again. Essentially, it's the body's way of rebounding after stopping opioids, allowing the brain to return to its natural rhythm. Now, let's talk about a serious risk during relapse. Someone who has been using opioids for a while decides to take a break for months or even years for various reasons, right? But then, unfortunately, they relapse and return to using opioids again. Here's the deal. Their body might not be prepared to handle the same high doses the once built up tolerance to. This could result in stronger effects than they expected. It's like their tolerance has decreased during the time they were not using the opioids anymore. And this is where it gets really dangerous. Returning to high doses of opioid that was once tolerated after a period of not using opioids significantly increases the risk of overdose, which can be fatal. Unfortunately, there are many stories of individuals caught in this cycle of stop using opioids, then they return and they end up overdosing. It's a harsh reality 
we need to acknowledge. Understanding how your body responds to opioids, adapting to tolerance, and the body's readjustments after a long time of not using is a matter of life and death. It's not merely about pain management. It's about avoiding the dangerous risk of overdose. While opioids have their own benefits and can effectively manage pain, right? They also pose very serious risks. Healthcare professionals who prescribe them when necessary adhere to very specific guidelines to protect you from these risks. If you or a loved one is grappling with opioid or other substances related challenges, seeking support from a healthcare professional is extremely necessary. Please be aware, stay safe, and thank you for being a part of this important discussion. If you have additional questions, please drop them in the comment section. Let's talk. See you in the next video.